Hey there, and welcome back to Off the Rails, an educational monster train series where we explore content mods for the game to shake things up. We are, as before, continuing with our unofficial balance patch series, I suppose. Sure, it's a series. Why not? Uh, a number of people have mentioned that it's a little boring watching me play this. It feels a little bit self-serving since I made it. So we're going to not be playing it after a little bit of time. Basically, we just played Primordium. We're going to be playing Fade today. Once I finish this series, we're pivoting to something else. I've already talked about it a little bit. It's going to be a 200 shard series in the base game. And we'll see how badly I struggle. With any luck, I won't lose a million times, but I'm pretty confident that it's going to be a quite a humbling experience. Anyway, we are on a six win streak here. We had an interesting pivot from Crucible Warden to a Horned Warrior uh, just for the multi strike because, oh my god, the shops were so bad. It was quick, large stone all the way, even though I had stupid imps for endless and I had stupid multi-strike value. Eventually, after I think five steel shops, I finally found a multi-strike. But the fact that I missed both of the ones I wanted, my odds were so good that I would see one of them, and yet I missed all the way through. Unbelievable. Uh, only on the very last reroll of the very last shop on the very last ring did I finally find a multi-strike. I had to infuse a transcend imp into my rage imp to make it work. And it honestly didn't matter. We had super food. We did fun things. Uh, we found trample and I think the game was won from the trample stone. So seems good. I made some good decisions on balance changes. I'm going to be changing, reverting back that perils of production rarity flip. I think that is a correct change. Uh, and I can't remember any others we talked about, but that was kind of the big one that stood out to me as something that I'm glad to have felt about. I mean, because I, I found a furnace tap and I was thinking to myself, man, if I had seen a perils earlier, I would have snapped it and maybe I would grab the furnace tap. But I don't know. Anyway, let's go play fade. We're on a six win streak. I think I already said that, but we'll say it again just in case. Maybe we can win these last two and feel pretty good about ourselves. Maybe I don't throw. But yeah, that's all I've got for you today. Pretty quick intro, but I suppose it is what it is. Uh, I only really have, I only really come prepared for like an extended six minute kind of conversation in the train of thought series because I don't know, coming up with, I don't want to get in the habit of just asking a random question or always coming up with something. I think my runs are long enough and you hear me talk for long enough that I don't need to extend it out to 30 minutes or something. It's fine. We'll talk about random stuff. It'll be okay. And yeah, that's all I've got for you. So hey, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's go play some Fade in the Mod. This is the mod, right? Verifying. Verified. I checked earlier and I just forgot. It's outrageous, but it's fine. Let's go. All right, hope you're all doing well today. I'm doing just fine. This is actually the third episode I'm recording of the night, which is excellent news. I love being able to make good progress like this. A triple episode night gets me a far ahead on where I need to be recording. If I can keep this momentum up, we should be good on my backlog, but we'll see. Regardless, that's all I've got, so let's play some Exile Melting. Default Awoken, a really good combo. If they give me Firelight, I just find anything that says Sweep and or Multi-Strike and win. We have double Tombs in our start, which is kind of curious. We're fighting, let's see, this is Daze Talos with Spell Shield Fell and Sap Seraph. Entombed Explosive, Steel Enhancer and Remnant Host. Honestly, really good start for a lot of different things. You could do Firelight and then just play a bunch of Tombs behind and it's good. Steel Enhancer is fine. It's kind of a do nothing card that's just good enough for now. And yeah, cool. Let's look ahead and see what we're working with. Let's see. Steel Shop on the Remnant side coming into ring two seems fine. Awoken Banners are more valuable to me, and we see one with a Magic Shop. I actually do value Magic Shops pretty highly with Fade in general. You see, you can get holdover for a primitive mold, which is good. I could also freeze one, which means I always have it for the right turn, which is good. Already, that makes it strong. Let's see. This is also a really good clan combo for Icarus, so that's worth considering. Awoken Banner 
is probably where I'm going. That magic shop is value. The remnant banner is fine, but it doesn't matter too much. I think you could reasonably win either way. If they show me a draft, I think this kind of gets a little bit easier too. That's fine. We have a Hellvent Remnant Banner on three, opposite a Magic Shop Pyre Remains, and an early game Temple, which is nice. Our Temples, speaking of those, are three, four, six, eight. Kind of a nice spread. You see one in all segments of the game, pretty much. One in the early, two in the middle, technically, but they're spread out, and then one in the late. So, pretty good. Removal Dupe on eight, it's good. Removal Dupe on six, that's also good. Let's see, as far as steel shops go, we're looking at two, four, five, six, and eight. They're not in great locations. You're not seeing them line up with removals except for ring four, which I'm definitely going there, unless I desperately need that Awoken banner on the other side, but we'll see, I suppose. Now, this is Fade, so let's look at the champion first. Icarus or F Eternal Flame? You know, I've already played the Eternal Flame a little bit here. I want to play Icarus, honestly. Give me some Icarus in my life. This is a really good clan book combo for it. They show me a Steel Enhancer early on. I can reform. I can do a lot of value here. Yeah, sure. Spikes fade. Let's go. I will take the Horde now. Ooh, Refracting Lens is really nice. If I see a Consume card, very good. Boon of the Blacksmith does clean up the early game a good amount, though. I am just going to take hits, by the way. If I'm going to live ring one, I should take Refracting Lens. If I'm going to lose on ring one, we take the Boon of the Blacksmith. We just take the Refracting Lens. It's fine. I think this is correct. I'm not going to take the Horde. We're weak. We are Fade. We move on. Spikes. I mean, we kind of just eat dirt if I take these spikes. We're going to leak these protectors all the way up to the top. It's true. It's not a great combat for this, for Fade. I wish it was hoping it was Clergy, but it's okay. We might be able to chew through. I want this money. Walking into ring th two, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna gamble on this. I think it's zero shards. We're okay. So I mean, it's it's literally Fade down below, and then what? I want to use this explosive into the protector, but I can't make it happen. <laughs> I guess we'll play the explosive up top in case I can pull this off and the rest of these cards don't matter. Okay. We do get a reform. Great news. Let's see. I can entomb an explosive downstairs. I don't think I can ever access the collector, which is terrible news. I explosive, which kills the front one, and then I get both kills in the back with fade. Cool. That's good. I mean, it's pretty likely. Oh, actually, we can just steal enhancer the explosive upstairs, and he kills this. Oh no! Now, what you do is you uh, you play the entombed explosive upstairs, the one that burns out, and then we get it. Look at me, I'm so good at the game. I'll play the Fade downstairs and let her burn out, it's okay. We saved the damage. Look at me, I'm doing it. I wish to keep Fade alone in the pool. I will play the Remnant Host upstairs as a last ditch in case we lose. It'll just sit there and do 20-something damage, which is fine. I want to try to get her to kill. We're going to be okay here, right? Yeah, we're fine. Give me a reform. Good job. I think we get the kill here. We do. Good job. Go team. Cool. That is more important to me than anything else. That kill. Got the trial. Took no damage. Excellent. We take the draft, most likely. It's not a firelight run, so do I care that much? Not really. Purifying Cleanse is probably better than some Burnout, some HP. Weird. I mean, I should grab the Draft because who knows what happens in this run. <laughs> you never know. Ah, uh, we take Wildwood Sap. That's a good card. It's also a Consume card. I will... Hmm. Interesting. What do I do here? I think I will go for the Awoken Banner here. 
I don't see it being a remnant side today. We're going to go to the Awoken Banner. I'm going to look in the Magic Shop. I will take this Permafrost for sure. Oh, nice. Awoken Hollow. Now, here's a question. Do you ever put Awoken Hollow behind Fade so that you cultivate her? I've never done this. Is this good? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. What a weird idea. I want to try it. It's the mod. I don't mind. We'll try these things. Let's do it. Awoken Hollow. Let's go. I'm going to permafrost a reform here. This is super correct. And... I suppose I minus one it so that I can dupe it. I think that is also correct. And a 20 consume on this restores value because it means I play it once and it's gone. I can take this cash, but I don't really care. We're just going to chill, honestly. I don't need the money. We're just looking for kills. Do I take this unit draft? What does it show me? A hollow? I guess. I don't care. Maybe. Probably not. Aggressive amulet's a little scary. It might show me something better here, potentially. No, it denies us kills. We turn this off. We're actually okay. We have the line. It's fine. Right, so... This is an interesting one. Do I play hollow... How strange. I think it is hollow fade middle. Look, I know it's weird. And then you do wildwood sap, which... Is pretty cool. You get the... Right? That's kind of cool. I will Entombed Explosive here for sure. Play out the burden. I want to open up the next floor. It's fine. We reform. Hopefully hit fade. Look at me. I'm good at the game. Seems good. We are just going to leak that thing for two. I'm fine with it. We 20 consume here. We just kind of restore this, right? It's fine. Get that cultivate going. <laughs> We're cultivating fade and it's good. Let's see. You reform the... Yeah, that's good. I mean, sure. Seems good to me. Cool. It's good. I'll take it. And then we... Well, unfortunately, we do not get a reform here. But our man 1v1's here, which is just fine by me. It's okay. So, not a great set of combats for Fade. We're definitely behind because of it. I think I'm just going to take Molded, another reform. A little more density on that is good. Glimmer, Restoration, Detonation, Bind Grasp. The Grasp is okay as a ping to self-kill here. I think I should grab it. It's fine. It's fine. I will go for the dupe here. Yep, Remnant Banner says a Wakeless Tycoon. You ever put Wakeless Tycoon in Hollow just to make money? Yeah, I do. Is this run good? I don't know. <laughs> is this run good? a great question i honestly don't know how to answer that are we in a good position i don't know i do not know what should i take here spikes works with i holy shield right totally does we'll take it yeah sure why not seems good you just reformer i'm gonna take the skull actually i think that is superior as it were and I can even spell chain the skull here. It's pretty good. It means that when I draw it, I just kill two things. Now, this is very perspective, but I think I will grab it. We're okay for, for Talos here, thanks to the power of making money. <laughs> this is weird. I'm going to be real. I've never done this before. And... Yeah. I have never, ever, ever done that before. And I guess it's just what we're working with here. 
I reform. We just keep playing it into the mid floor. It's great. I will restore, which is a good heal. And I think I'm going to... Hmm. It's interesting. I think what you do is you just shoot. Shoot the lady. It's fine. I have primitive molds on deck. Molded is good. Little fade comes in. She gets shot. Does some good killing. Yeah, this is good because it's 295, which is... She actually lives if I give her Steel Enhancer, doesn't she? That's kind of wild. I guess I'll pump the... Yeah, I guess I'll pump upstairs. It's fine. And I will Remnant Host... Upstairs? Ah, do I want to, though? I have a lot of Primitive Molds coming up. I'd like to kill this thing, but I would also love to earn some money. It doesn't work though, right? Because we cultivate it. It's a bit of a shame. We'll stop doing it. In this universe then, I think it's actually right for me to play Fade up top. And then we restore on her. This gets her the kill, which I do value. And it turns it all into money, which is good. It's actually pretty good, right? You put the draft in too, and we're fine. We kill everything except for the back unit, which is great news. Seems good to me. Take five, but it's okay. We have all the reforms here. I don't really care all that much. You just keep playing Fade up top. Although I think I need to elevate her, actually. We'll just take this hit. It's okay. Ooh, am I giving up these... I think I need to elevate her. Yeah, I'm reasonably confident I can take these hits. I'll just Wildwood Sap upstairs. I guess I could get away with it if I play the draft. Let it burn out. Yeah, that's fine, actually. It earns me money, too. I value the money quite a bit. So that's cool. And then you play, what, Primitive Mold? I think we kill here. We totally do. Great news. The nice thing is we also get money out of the draft burning out, which is, honestly, awesome. This is kind of a cheeky play style, but I think it's great, actually. Like, I really think this is good. We made a bunch of cash there that I didn't expect. We got fade up to respectable numbers. These cards don't help me. We skip them. These cards also don't help me. We skip them. And what? I just draw cards, I think, right? Just draw me good things, I suppose. Yeah, sure. We've got good pyre sustain. We've got good money acquisition. I love earning money. Relics are pretty valuable to me. Any spikes relic is huge, but removals are also good, and HP on the hollow is probably pretty good too. Yeah, I don't value the pyre remains at all, but it's a good steel shop. I should take it. Probably the best steel shop I'm gonna see. We just lean in on Icarus here as hard as we can. And if they show me Endless at some point, I give it some consideration, but not much. We're going to cut Train Stewards because they are never played, ever. I guess we take the HP, sure. Multi-Strike. I mean, do I ever just 25 Multi-Strike the Hollow? He's not bad, right? I can reform him. I guess he's okay. You know, the nice thing about it, I don't have to think about him, right? He just kind of hits things and then eventually goes away forever. We're going to buy a removal into a train steward here, and we're just going to leave. Right? I mean, this is it, right? We just stay low on shards here. We move. I don't need any of those things. Multi-strike technically helps me. It's true. And then we do the same thing, right? You just fade downstairs. We do not want to play the draft here. Correct. I will take the restore. 
may as well shoot this man. Sure. Nice. So you take the reform here. Play mid. Steel enhancer that. I restore up top. We chill. It's fine. We will play middle here. Good opportunity to vocalize why you want these primitive molds on lock like this. We can play middle. Clear that up. It's fine. I will... Ooh, I don't know. I'm gonna, I guess I'll restore twice upstairs. We'll just reform, make this man hit a little harder. He's doing pretty well. Anything he kills is in good position, I think. I, I guess we play on top floor next turn, huh? Sure. I will reform here. We'll see how this looks if I play in front. We kill one, which is nice. It's true, I do take a good chunk to the pyre. I'm going to save the sap because I'm only 2 HP down and I'm going to play the weight of contrition here instead. We kill the front dude, which I do think is great news. We take a chunk, but it's fine. I need to reform here, so we play that. I think I need to play upstairs. Right, I think that's correct. Let's see. Here's my thought. I want to get her killed, and I think I can do it. So the first thought is 612 comes in. Ooh, the interesting thing, I actually think... I vine grasp in front she gets the kill because it hits twice for 104 and then dies that is an important kill good now so 12 then 9 is 21 here this man in the back kind of just dies see I think I actually oh man I give up the kill in the front, but I get fade killed. I think instead we just lean in on the healing, right? We just lean in on this healing and we're fine. Yeah, I think this is just going to be better. We'll just get her alive in the next round. Yeah. Let's see, so if I play one heal on her, we win. Yeah, now it's not perfect, right? It does kill the back, but I don't think there's a way I can do this better. There might I might have been able to get this one more kill if I had gotten her shot, but I would have given up a kill. It's, it's tricksy. It's fine, though, right? It's fine. We get the kill out of the back of our man. He just kind of just narrowly gets the kill, which is excellent. Capricious Reflection is a nice hit at this stage. Anything I draft, getting random minus ones and stuff is cool. Sure. Yeah, I mean, like, Fatal Melting at zero is a pretty decent answer card here. I think that's nice. Resin Removal's not terrible, but I don't think it matters too terribly much. Wicked Blaze... I suppose it's another reform. I'm going to take the Fatal Melting here. That's a nice pickup. Holdover Cycle of Life is insane. What? Wow. Hope for peace. Let's go. Give me a minus two, please. Wow, that's kind of unbelievable. We're going to the magic shop because I've already filled out my Awoken Hollow, which is great news. Horde says improved firebox ever. No, I guess we take mold braces. It's some kind of life, I suppose. Magic shop says permafrost. I'd love. I guess I just permafrost this skull, right? And then I always have it for a really bad unit, like the mini bosses. It just, just kills mini bosses, true. We'll do it. You can't stop me. 
I'm not spending my ember on anything, so what if I just buy this minus one on cycle of life, right? Isn't this just great? It is, in fact, just great. I'm going to remove cards now. We're cutting out train steward for sure. I'm going to cut the draft at this point. I think it's awkward. I don't want to clutter the pool. True. Could have been one of the entombed explosives too. I need a relic. I need shards. So I'm going to take this horde. We're stabilizing. Oh my god. Gnarled root. Yeah, buddy. That's pretty good, huh? Ooh, that's nice. We like those. Tendon piercing probably goes in the fatal melting if they show it to me. I'm just going to save my cash. That plus 10 doesn't do enough for me. Let's go. Okay. I mean, it's looking pretty good, friends. Oh my god, it's crystal cloak. Oh my god, it's aggressive amulet. So, we don't take aggressive amulet here. I get a lot more kills if I don't do this, which I value more than the money. Okay, I mean, Spike Spade, good. I could have killed her and reformed her, I suppose, on that turn. It's not a bad idea. We're fine. Just chill it. Cool. Cool, we take the reform here. I play it middle. I do put the... Oh, man. Fatal Melting for three damage is genius. Unbelievable. You give her stats, and we're chilling. Yeah, you just give her stats, and we cruise off this, I think. Awesome. And she dies on this turn? Really, I couldn't have asked for more. That's really good. This is a lot of scaling that I'm very happy to have. So, I think I can just play her up top now. And then we, what? We just heal and give her cycle of life. And we just turn all this into money now. I suppose that's true, right? Right? This is just... This is excellent. She burns out here, which is... Truly... The best possible case. You give her some HP. She burns out. Great news. We simply pull Crystal Cloak forward. And we reform her next turn with a ton of HP. Right? I mean, you just bring her back. We play her middle. She gets four turns here and does 490, which is kind of incredible. Wow. Dang. Like, look at this. That's good. I mean, she gets the kill here, right? For sure. Spikes 124. She just straight up gets it, doesn't she? Yeah, she totally does. Awesome. That's excellent news. Wow. Really good combat for us. That caught us up so much. 127. Excellent news. Plus 10 subsuming blade. Minus 1 resin removal. Plus 25 remnant host. We skip these. Frozen in graft. Large edge prior. Oh, man. Wow. Remove Consume Channel Song. Yikes. We skip those. I love Capricious Reflection. Now, is it just Removal Dupe Time? It. I think it is, actually. Removal Dupe Time. First things first, we're cutting out... What? I think it's the two tombs. They are very difficult to play. They're basically curses. And then we look in the caverns real quick... Rail Forger's Hammer. Don't I just take Frozen Nostalgia to make my heals stronger? And Fatal Melting. Yeah, of course I do. I only need four space on a floor, right? It's just the, hol the hollow plus the fade. So we just Frozen Nostalgia it up. Which is honestly a really good hit. We're going to the temple. Intrinsic... Kind of interesting. 
plus 30, huh? Weird. I'm probably, I think I'm definitely actually duping the Petrified Skull for 10. This is excellent because for one Ember, it just kills two problem units. Like, if, if I'm going to leak something really scary, we just kill it. We just kill it. It's great. And it's shards, which we like. I do need to think about shards a little bit. We're at 65. I can dupe one more time at a removal dupe, which is a very powerful one. I probably dupe the cycle of life if I get a choice, though. So that takes me to not much. I take 10 from this. I get 7, 75. I have to take everything from the last temple. It's interesting. I think what you should do here, then, is... The intrinsic... I mean, nothing wants this, right? Yeah, I really don't see the intrinsic giving me anything. I guess you could intrinsic the Wildwood Sap, maybe. I'm going to play a plus 30 instead into a restore. I want to see Fatal Melting slot for a Tendon Piercing if I see it. I'll take a 47 health. Sure, we'll move on. That guarantees I see the divinity and it also guarantees that i take something of value instead of just a random i don't know an hp or something not 10 hp 10 gold 100 gold for 10 shards i'm a genius let's go cool seems good to me if once I have once I have to retreat to top floor, I think it'll be fine. But honestly, at this point, I can just let her burn out, right? We play top, make money, get rich, play cycle of life, win. I guess she hits for 283 damage to kill this guardian. Good grief. That is a true statement. Weird. Cool, works for me. So now I reform here and I get to just kind of yeet 300 and something damage into the boss here, which is great news. And we just kind of hang on to these cards, four frozen, very powerful cards. Kind of cool, honestly. We just play HP, seems good. She's doing 149, so I kind of don't care. Yeah, we chill. Great job. She dies. Good news. That's okay. We retreat to top floor just so we can get the excellence that is money here. I think we're cruising. Right? I want to consume a card, I think. Great news. I can even shoot Fade if I want to reform her on a critical turn. That's kind of fun when you think about it, right? This does nothing. I guess I'll do 15 damage to the boss. Sure. I suppose I'll take some cultivates. Sure. Great news. Yeah, cool. I'm on board with this. She's just kind of killing everything, which is truly the best I could have asked for, all things considered. She burns out here, which I just think is fine. I'm just going to let them all walk on her. Sure. Yeah, seems good to me. I mean, could I have asked for better? I mean, not really. Right? Primitive mold her back. She has a hundred life. And then what you do is you just shoot her at the very end with the petrified skull and then reform her to refresh her burnout and you're chilling. Seems good. She might just win right now. She actually super wins right now. So we don't touch it. Cool. Good job, Bonk. Cool. She's doing great. Fade, she's having a time of it. We're at 181. A permafrost, hallowed halls. Wow. Permafrost, sacrificial resurrection. The only nice thing about that is it burns your deck down to basically nothing. But I'm fine with this. Custodian, I don't care. We skip these. Fine. Draw, I suppose. I will overdraw on the number of frozen cards I have. But really, what else am I doing here? I, not much, <laughs> as it turns out. Not much. And I think I'm going to go to the trinket shop, right? Yeah, it's removals. I'm down. 
What you got for me? Resin block, melting spout, worn grindstone? No. Aw, oh, I was really hoping for the other thorns were all like Mr. Petrified Crucible, but you win some, you lose some. We just kind of go in on Icarus here. It's fine. I'm going to remove cards. We definitely get rid of Remnant Host here. And I think I cut random primitive molds because I don't need to reform that often. True. And the heals are better, genuinely. I'll skip the money because that lets me take everything from this temple, which I can do. 10 in piercing, minus 2. I guess I would just reduce anything. It doesn't matter. We move on. We're fine. Shame about this trinket shop, but it's okay. Nothing else here matters. Hell's banners. Like, I'm, not, I'm not playing my ember to begin with, so we're just chilling. Mark of Invasion is fine. Interestingly, it actually kind of gives me more money. Right? I mean, you do what? Fade up top. Great news. She dies. And then this man punches. Now, the nice thing is I can do the restores here and give her some stats. I could clear a floor, but I have a primitive mold frozen. So I'm actually okay with the way this looks right now. Yeah. It's fine. Okay, so this is good. We get a primitive mold back. Fade comes in. We clear the floor. I do get to restore here. Sadly, oh, Vine Grasp doing 18. Beautiful. Beautiful. Start the cultivates. Love to see it. Cool, and then he punches the other two. It's fine. These are free kills is the way you should look at it. They are free kills. And again, the nice thing about this is I can kind of just look at how this floor looks and go, hmm, am I winning? Yeah, I totally am, right? 10, she kills, 15, she kills, 15, she kills. So we're actually just cruising. I would like the Wildwood Sap right now, actually. Cool. Seems good to me. And we get harvested for cash. We're actually super in control here. It's awesome. Yeah, truly, this is this is something else. Cool. Great news. And then she just bonks anything that lives, which is honestly perfect. 40 damage. Who's taking his 18? Who the heck's taking 18? I actually just heal her, right? And now she takes the whole thing. It's fine. That's even better, right? Good job. Again, remember, you can just shoot her. Like, this looks bad. It looks bad. But what you do... This is going to be weird. You shoot her. And then we reform her? And she clears the floor and then dies? Honestly... Perfect, right? Like, that's just, that is the dream? Yeah, this is actually nuts. Right? Yeah, we do the same thing next turn, actually. So, watch this. I'll show you what I mean. We, we shoot her, and then we drop her a floor down. So, you nuke her. Boop. And then we reform her. And we play her middle, and she comes very close to just killing the boss. Which is exactly what I wanted, right? Because now it's a sure thing that we win this, right? Cool. One bonk and she gets the kill. Great job. Boop. Perfect. Honestly, awesome. Hold over on my memories of the melted. Is that good? Kind of. It's a little weird. Because you sacrifice Fade so you can reform her every turn. I don't need this Ember though. And I think she's doing okay dying. I can just shoot her with a petrified skull if I need to. We're chilling. We're chilling. Bramble Lash? Oh, but it's consume. 
I mean, we still take these. It's fine. It's a one-shot, though, unfortunately. I might just dupe it anyway. <laughs> I mean, because, right? It's going to do, what? That's 2,700 damage. Oh, no, but it's nerfed in the mod. Oh, it's only a 1,000-something. Whatever. Lame card. Who would nerf that? What a loser. I'm going to cut some of these. I'm going to cut these Steel Enhancers, maybe. I don't know. They're all bad cards at this point. Let's solve shards. Ten and piercing into fatal melting. Cool. Sounds good. Trinket Shop says Golden Vault. It's actually ridiculous. Anything you leak just doesn't do any damage to you. That's cool. Removing cards is not a problem, right? It's just chilling. In fact, I would I'm only I only have two ember though after cycle of life. I'd rather remove cards. So my starters are kind of awkward. I'm going to cut a primitive mold and I'm going to cut a restore. Actually, the restores are pretty decent because of that. Hmm. I do need to make sure I don't cut too many of these. I think the steel enhancer is actually worse than a restore here. Okay. 20 consume. That's actually pretty decent. I can now cut a restore by way of consuming it, which is pretty decent. I need to solve shards real quick. How am I solving shards? Is it just cycle of life? I just play two ember of this every turn and we win. Probably. And then we come in here and we take a plus 30 into literally anything. I'm going to make vine grasp do 48 damage. Cool. We're going to the divinity. Woo, look at me go. I'm going to take the golden vault and I'm going to reroll in case there's a petrified crucible. There is not. We're going to save the rest of our cash now. Um, Actually, I should take a minus one into something cool, huh? These minus ones are good since I'm playing two cycle of lives here. That's a true statement. I will buy another minus one into something. We'll put it in the molded. Cool. Those are value. They are valuable, yes. I could remove consume the Bramble Lash. How desperate am I to do this? That is... Look at this. Capricious Reflection at long last betrayed me. Although I, it's still a net positive because I hit these cycle of lives. Yeah, we're fine. We'll save our cash if I leak anything. It's no big. Now, is rationing scales a net positive? I get three health for each three gold for each health lost I go to 50 it's 90 so this gives me 270 back I get a net 55 I guess that's two hits in exchange for 90 I don't know whatever it doesn't matter I don't care I, I earn money because I have tycoon's infusion we have golden vault 105 out of 100 let's go fade this is a fast run of fate. Wow, 43 minutes into Seraph. It's pretty cool, though. I'm getting a chance to do some fun stuff, so I'm good with that. I'm just going to shoot fade. Right? I'm just going to shoot her, right? It's it's fine. We, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the deal. You restore, then you shoot her, then you reform her. Cool. Just kill a man. Seems good to me. We reform. We play middle. Or I can play top, honestly. It's fine. Yeah, we'll just play top. It's cool. We do the cycle of life. I get this sweet restore in play. We just cultivate a bunch. Seems good. Damage shield, gone. Blasted. And it's just, what, cycle of life, cycle of life here, and we're chilling, I think. I mean, yeah, I think so, right? Seems okay. The nice thing is, any money I make is actually ridiculously good here, right? That's kind of wild to think about. All of the money I make is huge value here. 
because it immediately pays out in a golden vault. We're doing a casual 600 into the boss, which is also really good. Let's see. I don't really care, honestly. Sure, it's fine. Big bonks, she dies. Oh no, I reform her. We're chilling. Right, it's kind of cool, actually, how I can do this. Yeah, true. I could shoot her for 48 damage. Good lord, I'm just going to shoot Sarah. It's better. Right, I mean, it's it's so good. We just bonk for 700. Meanwhile, my poor man in the back is doing zeros. So there's that. There is that. Fine. Seems good to me. Let's see, we keep it going. Do I shoot her? Let's see. If I restore first and then shoot her, she does kill everything and then die. Cool. Perfect. We reform. I could elevator her, but I do not think it's necessary. I wanted to just refresh here, and that is a very solid refresh. Oh boy. Yeah, we're fine. Right, I mean, we're, we're super fine here. Yeah, cool. Good job. I'm pretty confident she kills everything here because our man in the back is doing 16 damage. So this is fine. Yeah, he, he dies the spikes. We're currently up to 393 spikes, which I will sell. I will tell you is a good number. You just we just play her middle and I think she kills the boss, which is cool. I think I'm on board with that. Yeah, you just it's what? Fade middle and then you send it. Seems good. It's like 700 damage right there. I'll at least keep our man upstairs chilling. I guess I could have played that for 10 into the boss. Oh no, I'm throwing. Form her. Play her middle. I definitely crystal cycle of life her i could have bramble lashed for a very solid 2000 into the divinity there should i have great question i will let you all decide i think that was a better floor to do it all on but who am i to say right who am i to say it's what, fade middle and then we cycle, cycle. And you just heal upstairs to the best of your ability. We shoot anything that looks remotely scary. Does this look remotely scary? Eh, it's getting close. It kind of looks scary. We're going to start playing her top now. Yeah, that looks scary. All right, come live upstairs with me. Let's go clean the curses from our land. I'm just going to blow up chains, right? There's no reason to keep him around. He can just die. Seems good. Like <laughs> he, he can just die. That's fine. Seems okay. What if I shoot Fade? Does she die? No. I don't care about the Vengeful Shard, really. We just need to scale her HP here. It's true. That is super true. Shoot the boss. I'm pretty confident we win before Relentless. Oh no, I lost my 25 gold. What am I gonna do? You know what I was looking for? I was looking for a way I could connect this Bramble Lash with the boss, and then I noticed the boss is actually just dead. So there's that. I'm gonna shoot this man on bottom floor because he looks mean. He can just kinda die. That's cool. 
Good chat. All right. GG. Bonk, 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 bonk. And I had so much gold piling up. Yeah, it wins. It wins. Cool. Well, that was a 50 minute run of Monster Train. I think we're in pretty good position. All things considered. Sweet. Cool. Well, that was a good, nice pre relentless on that poor sod. So, yeah. Score is, it's fine. It's fine. We'll go to the run summary. So, yeah, Little Icarus, she's got it. 469 spikes, that's a good number. There were a lot of things to say about this run that were really good. Honestly, this Awoken Hollow just as a random unit. It's the way you want to play Icarus, right? You want a random unit that will kind of clean up a bit. Wickless Tycoon is also very nice because if I line them up, then she's killing everything on Tycoon's floor, which is good. And the Hollow cultivates her, which is actually pretty decent. The multi-strike kind of didn't matter a ton, but it did help into some combats like rings four and five. So I'll take it. We started going crazy on Sycophants of Seraph. That's really when things picked up. There were so many units. We were able to scale her really high. Honestly, Capricious Reflection gave me cycle of life here with little fade. It was match made in heaven. A really, really good pickup. This cycle of life existing as an uncommon card. Turns out that makes me pretty happy. And then we ultimately had the Tycoon plus Golden Vault synergy with 935 gold at the end. We were chilling. I never even played the Bramble Lash. I probably could have gotten, I probably would have gotten a much better score if I had just dropped the 2000 on that one turn. It almost, it almost assuredly would have been a better score. But I quickly was just like, how, why play that? I can just play the way I know he's going to win. So I did. And we ended up retreating up there anyway, so it's fine. Everything else was kind of just, I don't know, take shards to make sure I fight the divinity and then remove cards, consume the ones we don't want, and then refracting lens means that I never take any damage, really. So, seems good. A pretty straightforward run, I think. Honestly, Frozen Nostalgia, really good. I'm a big fan. Whenever you can reasonably take this, it's almost always the best choice in that event, but it's pretty hard to take an average. Usually you're using your floor space. Otherwise, I, I really enjoyed the Petrified Skull shooting Fade and then bringing it back. You just always have this on the right turn. You kill the thing that you don't like looking at. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, I honestly don't have much else to add. This is a 53-minute episode. I guess we take these. So, hey, fair enough. It brings us up to 7 on the series. It's better than 6. We'll go for it. Uh, so, yeah, I'll leave you there. As always, uh... Yeah, hey, thanks a lot for watching this. I really appreciate your time. You know, you can give the video a like or a dislike if you want. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And stay tuned for what's next. Take care, folks.